Alrighty. Hello, everyone. We're going to be ranking every extreme demon that I've beaten on a tier list. I made a video like this a really long time ago. It's really outdated, and honestly, it was like a really bad video because I put like step to hell in A tier. I don't know how that happened, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've beaten a lot more extremes since then, and um, I'm also gonna go throw Sukup and Circles in there because that's what I'm playing right now. So let's start uh, with Aku. Uh, I can also pull up the video just in case we want to do that. Aku's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. This is a good ass level. Um, my other thing is that when I played it, the gameplay was like kind of annoying. Like it was like really weird. I don't know. It's a good. It's a good for what it's worth. That's a modern level. The gameplay is not bad. It's just not like the best part of it. And it was kind of annoying when I was learning it. So um, I'm gonna put this in A. It's like really like close to us but it's not quite uh there all right aftermath uh see the thing with aftermath is that there's this one ship at like 30 or something i don't know it's so bad yeah, this ship is so annoying especially because like the half the shit you're like dying to you can't even see and then after that it's like fine it's so easy like everything else uh, other than that is like so easy but the gameplay is just not good so i'm gonna put it in like c because it's more fun than kata and i'm gonna probably put kata in d okay. the song is probably the best part of it at speed of light the deco is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Just a copy of Cat already launched. I think the rest of the gameplay is actually kind of fun, but that ship is super annoying. I don't know. Uh, Alcatraz. This level... Pfft, the song is good. I like the song. The deco is fine. The gameplay is like... Kind of weird. I need to look at a video. I don't remember what Alcatraz is like. Oh, this is like the... This is the stupid version. Huh? Alright, so yeah, the deco is fine, honestly. Not great. Not terrible, I guess. The gameplay is like... It's not even that like terrible. It's kind of weird. Yeah, this part's actually pretty bad. I don't know. The dro I don't know. The dr this is like different. This is like the buff version or something. The drop's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. The ending is like really stupid though. Like, like you could just you could just die and be like, well, you just randomly die. There's like portals and she had to go through there. Yeah, it's kind of laggy. So I don't know. I'm just gonna put this in like C. It's really not terrible, but it's there's problems with it for sure. All right, <laughs> I almost said renovate. This is uh actually <laughs> I just took my thumbnails yeah. and Frost's dumbass thumbnail. All right, allegiance. Allegiance, allegiance is um pretty alright. It's, I don't really like the song that much. I don't really like the gameplay that much. And the deco, it's nice. I don't know. It's This is also honestly a C. It's really not like... I don't really like the gameplay that much. It's, it's not that fun. It's not like bad by any means. Uh, Aquatic Auroras. This level looks really good. I don't like the song at all. Some people say that the song is really good. I don't like the song at all. Um, the gameplay is like actually not that bad considering like other non circles levels are like that But that's not an excuse for the gameplay to be like bad like it's the gameplay bad <laughs> And it's really hard to see it's just not fun to play I'm gonna put this in D the only good thing it's got going for it's the decoration Our right, arctic lights this is kind of in the same boat as aquatic, but it's easier to see Um, and I actually like the gameplay a lot more than aquatics. I'm gonna put this in C also I fluked it so I'm a little biased <laughs> artificial ascent um I don't like this level at all. I know some people, it's like, oh, it's a classic, it's a masterpiece. I think it's trash. I think the da balancing is so boring for how long it is. And it, it's super laggy for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe my PC just sucks ass. But, like, I don't really like the song. Uh, the deco is kind of, like, whatever. I don't I just don't like this level. This is going to go in D for me. But, it, like, it is, like, an, an important level. And I think some of the gameplay is fine. But I just don't like the balancing at all. It was not fun. Artificial Dream. Pretty learny, but actually pretty fun. Uh, songs, all right. Deco's all right. But nothing amazing, but it's good. So I'm gonna put in B. Auditory Breaker. This is like Sonic Wave. If it was if it was like worse because it's like easier, and that's like not a good thing because the only reason I would ever want to play Sonic Wave is because it's kind of hard and it's like that's like the joy I got out of playing it. But Auditory Breaker, especially the ball, they nerfed the ball, which is a positive, and then they put this stupid like fucking circle thing around that you can't see the edges and you just can't see where you're going. That is so annoying. This is going in D. I, I actually. I fucking hate auditory. The deco is super good, but I don't care. Like, it's just not fun to play. I don't like it at all. Um, Belengu Vortex. Like, Bosch if it was fun, pretty much. This isn't amazing, but it's, like, above average. I'm gonna put it in B. That's good. Um, what the fuck? Okay, ignore my cat. Uh, Bosch of Vortex is- uh, fuck you. Alright, I'm not even explaining. That level's so bad. All the transitions are trash. It uses the worst part of the song. The deco's, like, blinding. I don't- I don't like it at all. Alright, Black Blizzard. Um, this level is super buggy on 360. I wish I played it on 240. Um, my experience, I don't think, should bring it down completely because it is a pretty quality level. The song's really good. The deco's pretty good. The gameplay really isn't that bad. Drop onwards. Um, I just don't really like the bouncing that much. I'm gonna put it in C. If- if I was going off my experience, this would be an F right now. <laughs> Play of Justice is like- I don't know, I didn't really like the gameplay that much. The song and deco are amazing though. B. I don't really like the deck- the gameplay that much, but that's pretty much the only thing I dislike about it. Especially that- that UFO. That's kind of stupid. I, I don't like that UFO. That's just not fun. 
I can't imagine that being fun in Edge of Destiny either. Like, imagine that harder. Like, that should be dumb. Uh, Bloodbath, it's like, Bloodbath is pretty, like, annoying because of Mishy, uh, because it's just so unbalanced. But, uh, for the time, the deck is good, the song choice is good. It's just a revolutionary level. I'm gonna put this in B. It's not, like, mid. It's a little more than that. It was also one of my first extremes. Super solid level, honestly. All right, Bloodlust. Um, I actually love Bloodlust. This level is so good. For how long it is, it, like, the bouncing actually isn't that bad. It is pretty boring from zero, but the deco is amazing for the time. It's, it, even more revolutionary than Bloodbath, I feel like. Blo Everyone knows Bloodbath is the top one, but then, like, Bloodlust, I don't know. I feel like it had a more of an impact, at least for me. Like, like the first level where I was like, holy shit, I'm beating Bloodlust. Like, that's... That's one of those moments for me in my um, GD career, I guess. So I really like this level. It also uses the extension, so I think the song is actually better than if you uh, account it that way. I'm going to put this in A. Um, Carcano. All right, uh, New Cataclysm. New Cataclysm mm. is like, I feel like Cat, Old Cat and New Cat are the same because they kind of balance each other out. Uh, I'll talk about Old Cataclysm later, but New Cat is just like C. Nothing great about it, but like the gameplay is pretty bad. I don't really like the song. That part of the song that much it's just see chromatic s first s probably one of the only s's on this list this little is so good song is amazing the deco is amazing the gameplay is super fun to click to super fun to learn it the, if it was just a little easier that would be like perfect it's hard it's a very hard level um but it's it's so good it's actually like one of the best levels i've ever played in the game chub step is um the trezzo's unrated extreme it's like club step but it's a bunch it has a bunch of like fake memory crap in it and it's like it's kind of funny um I don't know, this is just a C because it's funny, but it's like, the gameplay is kind of stupid. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a memory level, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of like annoying to learn, but it was kind of fun to execute. Um, Concaved. This is also a C. The gameplay is kind of bad, like, it wasn't put together very well. But I like the song, the deco actually isn't half bad, but, um, gameplay is not the greatest. Digital Descent, I'm thinking E or D, probably D, because, like, the deco and the song are really good, but it's super obvious, it's just Edson and Devon are in the middle, it's just really annoying get there every time it's stupid i flicked it pretty hard though which is nice dolos i actually like dolos a lot i'm gonna put this in a because <coughs> mm, <laughs> actually the ending is kind of stupid so i'm gonna put it in b and pretty it's pretty boring to play from zero but uh the song is really good and the deco is also really really good i really like the deco in dolos uh it's just pretty boring to play from zero and like i said the ending is kind of hard i got pretty unlucky my experience was terrible on that but honestly i don't think it's a terrible level step to hell my thumbnail this is so stupid wait that's not step to hell that's okay this is down base so down base um <laughs> there's two and like there's stuff to hell down here okay by the way there's context behind that i put it in my down base video if you guys want to go watch that but um down base is like kind of bad like the gameplay is stupid especially with the buff date oh my god that level is so stupid this is gonna go in e for me i don't like the song the deco nine circles i don't i Actually, F tier, fuck that. There's almost nothing good about that level. I don't I really don't like it at all. And I, I, I played that for nine hours straight, by the way, because I was doing a bet. God, that was a terrible level, terrible experience. Nothing good about it. Ethereal Artifice. Uh, this level kind of flopped. I thought this was going to be amazing. It was good, but not quite amazing. It was pretty laggy. I, I keep complaining about that with all these levels, but I just feel like that's an optimization issue um, for the level. But Ethereal Artifice has a really good song. Uh, the deco is super good, but... I really don't like the balancing. The second half is a little harder than the first. And um, I just kept dying the second. It was really annoying to play. And there's this one, like, hold on, let me, let me see. Yeah, this one. This cube is so bad. I don't like this cube at all. Yeah, I don't know. It's just super awkward to play. Over Other than that, it's pretty good. So I'll put this in A. It's not quite S. Hyper Paracosm. Uh, I'm going to put this in E. Not quite F because, yes, the song is kind of trash. The deco is pretty trash. But I do like how the ending is, like, super long. And it's, like, kind of hard. Like, I think that's kind of interesting for the balancing. Because the, the wave is a little more forgiving. But the wave gameplay is, like, not the greatest. It's a little more fun to click to than um Aquatic, I feel like. But it's, it's definitely overall worse than Aquatic. There's that one spike that was in there for a while. I had to beat it with that at one point, And then he updated it. I don't know why that was ever in there. Um, hypersonic, F tier. Fuck you. That level is trash. The gameplay is awful. I don't care if the deco is even good or like, I don't like the song that much. I don't, I don't like hypersonic at all. Such a terrible level. Uh, ICDX. Probably E. This is almost nothing about that level. It's like pretty easy, but like, that doesn't mean it's good. The gameplay is just kind of whatever. It's like a good level if you want to say, hey, I beat an extreme, which this isn't extreme anymore. So what's the point anymore? It's, just, it's such a nothing level. It's just that one choke point in the middle. That's like, that's what everyone knows it for. Infernal Abyss, I fluked really hard. So I think I had a better experience than most, but this level is trash. Honestly, this is D. I don't know. There's like this one UFO that's like really dumb. The, the gameplay overall just isn't that good. Why did you go to the RTX video? I don't know. I just clicked on the first one. But this UFO is so stupid because you have to be aligned perfectly. 
And then like everything after that, it's like pretty hard. I don't know. It's it's kind of dumb. I don't like this level. Innards. Innards, I thought was going to be really good. But um, the bouncing was so dumb. Like, it is so boring. Because, look, okay. If you play from zero, <laughs> and we get it next. So this beginning is so easy. It is literally like a fucking, like, five star or something. I don't know. It's so easy. And then this part's like, whatever. Like, everything up to the drop is, like, so fucking easy. So you get here, right? Like, what is this? Like, look how hard this... Like, look at, look at this wave. This wave is, like, freaking, like, so hard. It's, like, moving. Like, what is that? That's so hard. Yeah, this. Like, look at that. That's so hard for, like, compared to, like, the pre-drop. I don't know. I think the bouncing is absolutely stupid. It's the second half is way harder. That's honestly, like, a D tier. I don't like... Like, the deco is, like, really good. Actually, I'll put it in C, because the deco is really good. I like the song a lot, but the gameplay is trash. I don't know. All right, Kanye West. This level is kind of funny. Uh, The song, it's, like... I don't even know how to write the song, because it's just a song with, like, some dude singing over it. Actually, mm, E tier, because it's kind of funny. Uh, And I flicked it. So that's, that's the only reason it's not F, because everything else about it is terrible. Alright, Kinos. Kinos is, like, pretty dumb because there's a bunch of bugs and, like, random shit that Napesa forgot to take out. Like, there's, like, uh, in this part, there's actually a saw here. And you can die, if you, even if you don't touch a slope. It's so dumb. Like, these are not saws. They're, like, not aligned. I don't know. This part just doesn't work or something. <laughs> it's so dumb. But this is, like, a C tier because the bouncing is, like, pretty solid. The deck is pretty solid. It's just, it's a sick open hell song, so I don't really know what to say about that. I don't know. It's not the worst level ever, but it's not, it's not really good. Layak. This level... I, I was annoyed when I was playing this because that was like really hard for me back then. But honestly, the level was pretty good. Like the deck is super good. I really like the song. The gameplay is kind of spammy, and some of the duels are annoying. But the pre-drop is really good. I really like the pre-drop. Yeah, this th that thing, that stupid UFO thing, that is so dumb. I don't I don't like that at all. Uh, this is A though. It's not quite S because the gameplay is kind of weird sometimes. But everything else about it is awesome. Molten Core. Uh, this is worse than Hyper. Honestly, I don't like it at all. The song is trash. It's Fairy Dust remix. I don't know why they use. <laughs> The, the deco, just like eye cancer, I don't know, just like lava or whatever. And the gameplay is so bad, bro. And of course, I died at 98, so I'm gonna hate it. But like, I don't know. imagine, imagine it like pre uh, nerf date though, as well. Like, that was like so much worse. Yeah, I don't, even after the fucking nerf date, it's still bad. Old Kata, I'm gonna just put this in the same tier as New Kata, um, because the mirror ship, so like. The mirror ship is why I think Old Kata is harder than New Kata. I don't think Old Kata is harder, I think it's worse just because of that. Shut up, Nexus, I don't care. Keep it as intro. Yeah, this, this is ship is so bad. Like, why would you do this in your level? I don't care if you're hacking it or not, like, this is just bad. That's just not fun. That's just not fun. I think that makes it, like, bad, but then, like, this also has, like, some bullcrap in it. Like, New Kata has, like, the first wave is, like, so much harder, which makes it, like, a dumb choke point. You just, like, die there every attempt. Uh, but then Old Kata, like, the ship is just not fun. So they're, they're both in the same tier. They're pretty much the same. Omicron. I'm gonna say D for this one. Omicron, especially the fact that it literally got, like, reworked and that it's still bad. Like, it's funny to me. Because it was, like, terrible before, right? They made a bunch of good changes, and it's still trash. Like, it's just so long, and there's so much bullcrap. There's this one thing at the ending. Hold on. If you go over here, this black orb, you don't have to hit. And if you hit it, you just die. Like, pretty much. 99% of the time. And I hit it from zero, and I died. Like, that's so dumb. Why would you put a black orb there? What is the point of that? If it's just gonna kill you, like, that doesn't even help you. Like, I don't know. I... Don't like the gameplay at all. Just so much bullcrap. Like you can just randomly die, and it's like there's yeah, there's so many bugs as well. Like you just watch, just literally watch my Omicron video, and that'll explain why this is in D tier. But the song is pretty good, and the deck is pretty good. But I don't care. I, the gameplay is so bad. Oh my god. Progressive Tide. I very found this level. I like the deco. I like what Lundy did with the deco. Um, the song is also really good. Uh, the gameplay is like all right. I think I balanced it pretty well because there used to be some dog shit in the pre-drop that Speedy Muffin didn't take out. This is like B. It's like pretty fun, but it's like kind of weird. I don't know, the gameplay is questionable, even after I bounce it. What is this? Is Phobos. Okay, Phobos is F. I fucking hate Phobos. The song is trash. The deco is whatever. Yes, it's a fucking monumental level in the history of the game, but God, the gameplay is so bad. Like, what is this shit? Hold on. Oh, yeah, n nice fucking, nice, uh, <laughs> the bottom is not filling in this No, oh, yeah. Yeah, fucking this. You can fall in here and die. Like, that's like nice transition, bro. Like, why? Just patch it up. Like, why? This is trash. This, nothing is fun. It's such a bad level. Yeah, this UFO is so annoying. I hate this UFO. This, like, that's just not fun. Why would you make that? So bad, bro. Like, what is that? Who makes that, bro? Kermal will be like, yep, here we go. Like, this is, this is what we're gonna put in there. Like, Kermal's a bad creator in a player. It's just a bad shit. Fucking dog shit. Yeah, uh, after terrible level. All right, Quantum. Uh, I had a pretty bad experience with Quantum because it like took me forever and it was a really uh, hard level for me at that time. It's pretty slow and some of the gameplay is kind of frustrating, but I think it's balanced all right. And uh, it's an interesting level. Uh, it's not really that fun though, so I'm gonna put it in C. No, it's an interesting concept though. It's not terrible. 
Quest for Perfection. Um, I'm gonna put this in B, right above Kata, because um, I think obviously the deck is better. The duel really isn't bad at the end. I don't think the duel's bad, and the, uh, otherwise the gameplay is like better. So slightly better Kata, pretty much. All right, Scoop and Circles. This is gonna go in E. The deco, I don't know, it's unique for the Nine Circles style. The gameplay is obviously absolutely terrible, but it's kind of satisfying. It's more interesting than like Aquatic Aurora's like gameplay, but that doesn't mean it's better. So it's kind of just like I don't know how I feel about the gameplay. I'm a little biased. It, it's interesting though, because like the doubles, like you've never seen th th that. That was never a thing that anyone's even like made, because that like what, that's like, impossible. But the balancing is trash, no matter what angle you look at it. Uh, and the song is just like, <laughs> it's, it's so funny. The song is funny at this point. Uh, but yeah, E tier, almost nothing good about it. It's Coop and Hell F tier. This level is somehow worse than Scoop and Circles to me because I don't know, it's just not fun. It's lazy as well. They just copy and paste the wave. Like, I don't know, there's trash. I don't like Scoop and Hell at all. Sonic Wave. I'm gonna put this one tier above Auditory. Like I said uh, before, it's harder, which makes it more fun to play, I feel like. The ball is like dumb though because it's like literally the hardest part of the fucking level. And the 49 click is kind of stupid, but it's it's more fun to play because it's like, you're, it's, it's actually a challenge to play it rather than Auditory. You're just bored. You just die. You're like, fuck this. I don't want to play this anymore. It's not the best level ever, but yeah, it's C. It's, it's mid. Stemma Redux. I thought it was pretty good when I played it. Um, I did die at the last like ship the hold thing, which kind of pissed me off, but otherwise it was pretty good. The pre-drop is super boring, but the drop is super fun. I, I will say it's kind of hard to see in the FO, which I don't really like. Um, but other than that, it's pretty damn good. I'm going to put this in A. There's a lot of good things about it, I feel like. I like the sound as well. It's, it's a good level. All right, uh, Step to Hell. So I put this in A last time. I don't know how that happened. This is like D. It's not like, it's not quite E. It's definitely not C. It's like below mid. Uh, and the reason is because like, I don't know, it's the club sub song. It's like whatever. The fucking deco is like kind of trash and the gameplay is awful. Oh my God. It's like funny how awful it is. It's literally a meme. Like how like bad stuff to hell is. Notoriously bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, the gameplay is kind of fun though. I feel like it's like kind of like interesting. It is bad though. I will admit it is pretty bad. It, it feels like a Korean level. You know what I mean? Like it feels, it reminds me of stuff like Fabrication or like Dark Flare where it's like, the gameplay is bad, but it's like kind of interesting to play. You know what I mean? All right, tenth circle. A lot of people don't like this level, but I actually think the gameplay is pretty fun. The song is kind of stupid. The deco is pretty good, I'd say. And that one cube part, we're here. Like, like this is cool. I don't know. I thought this was cool. And, like, the balancing actually isn't that bad. I don't know. I think this level is like B. It's it, the only problem is that like there's like some choke points, but other than that, it's like pretty fun. I don't know why everyone like hates this level. I don't know. I really don't think it's that bad. Thanatophobia. This level is like not extreme, even like in my mind at this point. It was never even meant to be extreme. It's just so learny. And I really don't like the gameplay at all because like it's a bunch of like shit where like every click is based off another click. You have to be like perfectly like lined up for every click. I don't like that style of gameplay. It's super learny and super like it almost feels buggy the way like it's formed. And the pre drop is super annoying. You can just randomly die and it's like there's just like one click. This is like one timing like right after the ship that you, it's like so hard it's the, it's just not fun but the theming the deco the song just all amazing so i'm gonna put this in b because i think it did a lot right all right the arctic's update uh this is just like a fucking worse balanced version of the arctic's with better deco it's like a d i'm gonna put both these in d this is just like easier but like worse deco so all right wow i don't like the pre-drop in wow something about like especially like chase's part hold on let me oh yeah this part i don't like this part is like so dumb i don't like this part like the, what is it i don't know all this is crap i don't know and, like this part's like not that fun it's kind of weird i don't like this shit parts whatever this part's fun i like this part this is like the best part of the pre-drop but then it gets like stupid again and then like i don't know after this like, like if you're just bad at spamming you can't play this level it's just not like fair i don't know interesting concept good deco pretty interesting song but I don't, I really don't fuck with it that much. Um, I'll put it in C. It's like, I don't know, I didn't think it was that good. Uh, it's pretty easy though if you have the spam gene. Alright, EXO. Actually, for being a 1.0 level, EXO is pretty cool because it has like effects. There's actually like moving objects and like effects and stuff. Look at the background, that's so cool. I don't even know how he made that, but that's so cool. So yeah, like, it's not, it's not lazy. This Carmel is not like that. He, he like, he puts work into his levels, even if they're terrible half the time. EXO, I think is a B. I like the song. He puts work into everything except the balancing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, EXO is super boring to play from zero. That's the only flaw with it. The song is good. The deco is interesting um even for being quote-unquote lazy or whatever it, it was pretty fun to play it was a new hardest i got a kick out of playing it like that all right uh the last level is zaf kill i actually like this level quite a bit a lot of people hit this level uh because the gameplay is bad i think the gameplay is all right it's not terrible i did fluke it though I, the ending is a bit stupid i will admit this wave is fine i don't know this wave is kind of stupid i don't like this wave that much the transitions are the main problem like look at that transition like 
That's that's kind of bullcrap. Like you have to like you have to click like into it. Like that's I don't like that. This part is actually I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like this level that much anymore. I got pretty lucky on it, so I don't really have that uh, good of a grasp on the gameplay. But I'm just gonna put this in C because I really don't think it's the worst level ever. But the gameplay is definitely questionable. So yeah, uh, there we go. We're done. There is my list. Uh, if you skip to the end of the video and you feel like one of these placements is bullcrap, go back and see what I said. And if you still think that's bullcrap, then uh, fuck you. All right. Which they are. A lot of people are. They're like, dude, Space K is back, Noah.